Okay, once you've got your water sample in your bucket, you want to swirl the bucket to mix the sample. Then you want to pour from the bucket into your sample bottle. You need only fill it to the shoulder of the bottle. That will go in your cooler. Swirl the sample water again and pour out 100 milliliters into your measuring cup. Assemble your filter apparatus. The top part pops off, it doesn't screw, it just pulls off. You want to take your filters that come in a black bag, you're going to take one of the inside smaller filters and place it rough side up on the top of the filter unit and then push the top on securely. You're going to take one of the larger filter units, one of the larger filter papers, and label it with the site, the date, and the time. Okay. Take the top off the filter unit and pour your sample into the top of the filter unit. You don't need to put the top of the unit back on if you don't want to. Attach the hand pump to the filter unit and squeeze. This will pull the water through the filter paper into the bottom of the unit. The algae in the water will be trapped on the filter. When all the water is out of the top of the filter unit, you can detach the pump. Again, pull the top off. Take your forceps, carefully fold the filter paper in half, like that. You can crease it with your finger. The algae is on the inside of the filter paper. Then you're going to take this filter paper and put it inside the larger filter paper, which is labeled. Fold those two in half again. Secure them with a paper clip. This goes inside the black plastic bag to protect it from light, which then goes inside your sampling bag with your water sample. Seal the bag. This goes into your freezer for transport home. When you get home, the entire bag can go into the freezer until it's picked up.